Have you ever wondered about the amount of preparation needed in order to win a time trial at the Tour de France? PhD students from the TU Delft are working with professional cycling team Sunweb to optimize the aerodynamics of their riders. We're here at the um, uh, Faculty of Aerospace Engineering in the wind tunnel uh, at the TU Delft. Uh, my name is Wouter Terra and I'm doing a PhD in cycling aerodynamics. And in this research we are working together with the uh, team Sunweb, professional cycling team. And today we're here to position the riders of the team in the most optimal position on their, on their bike. We have a baseline position of the rider that he's used to. We measure the, the drag of this rider. And then we're going to make changes to the, the height of the steer or the, the position of the saddle. We measure again the aerodynamic drag and we see if we gain any drag and if we made the rider faster uh, or actually slower. The body of the rider really determines in what kind of position the rider can, uh, can hold. So we really want to look first into his flexibility, his strength, um, and also uh, test different helmets, glasses to, to really fit to the body of the rider. On forehand we uh, also determined in which uh, maximum joint angles the riders could sustain uh, a good position. So now today is really the fine tuning of, uh, of the position on, on, the, on the part of the aerodynamics. We do not only uh, measure aerodynamic drag with a balance system, but we also use particle image velocimetry. This is a technique that measures the, the flow, the velocity of the air. We introduce small bubbles, small particles, that we can follow with cameras. We have to illuminate them and then with multiple cameras we can follow these particles uh, in space. And from that we can uh, derive the flow uh, velocity. Um, and we want to use this technique in an on-site environment, so uh, in the training environment of, an, of a cyclist. So we can better understand what's happening in the flow around cyclists, and we can get aerodynamic drag out of it. And we can, we can compare that aerodynamic drag to these measurements as a validation. 